Okay, today we're going to use the one-step buttonhole feature on the Janome HD 3000. So to make the buttonhole, you use this foot, it's letter R, and it has an adjustable end so that you can make the buttonhole fit whatever size button you're using for your project. Today I'm using this button. So I'll slide the foot to fit that button and then put this foot on the machine. So you take off your regular presser foot, stash that away, and snap on this presser foot. I'm going to just get my threads out of the way there. Um, and then a really important thing that you need to do is to push down the slider, and this helps tell the machine exactly how long your buttonhole needs to be. You're going to choose the buttonhole pattern on your pattern selector. Go all the way down to the end. Okay, make sure that you've got your zigzag somewhere between four and six, and then choose buttonhole for your stitch length, and you are ready to go. The cool thing about this is that once you get your buttonhole set up to the right size, you can make multiples in the exact same size and shape. So all you have to do is line up where you want the buttonhole to start, put your presser foot down, and then put your foot on the pedal and the machine will do all the work for you. I'm gonna pull, actually I'm just gonna clip this thread so it stays out of our way. And there we go. So it's made it as long as it needs to to fit around our button. It's coming back to the front. And when I see the needle go up and down in the same spot a couple times, I know that it's done. I can lift the presser foot, pull out the project, cut my threads. And if I wanted to make another buttonhole in the exact same size, I just reset by changing the pattern one over, one back, and now it's all set to make as many as I'd like.